There are two ways of adding documents, such as presentations or word processed files, to your Moodle course. One way is by dragging and dropping them straight onto the course, as we've seen in a previous video. This way, if you prefer or if your browser doesn't allow it, uses Moodle's Activity Chooser and File Picker. To do this we need to turn the editing on, either by clicking the Turn Editing On button, or by scrolling down and in the Administration block, clicking the Turn Editing On link. And then, in the section where we would like to upload the document, we click the link Add an Activity or Resource. This brings us to Moodle's Activity Chooser, and we scroll down to the resources. Adding a document is a resource and we're going to add a file so we click the file button. We can click it once and then click add at the bottom or simply click twice to come to the setup screen. The name is important because the name is what the students will see on the page when they access it. The description is also important. You may or may not need to use a description according to whether your administrator has set it as a requirement or not. And if you want to format it, then simply click the Show Editing Tools link and then you will have a full editor. If you want the description displayed, click the box Display Description on Course Page. Then we arrive at the file manager and again if your browser allows it it's possible just to drag the file straight into this box here. But we're going to click where it says add and this brings up Moodle's file picker which we'll investigate in another video. We simply want to upload a file so we ignore for now the other links and click upload a file. We then click choose a file or browse for a file. The words depend on the browser that we're using. And then we click to access the file that we want. We can change its name if we want to. We don't have to. Change the author name. Choose a license if we're not happy with the default license. And then click upload this file. Moodle displays a useful icon of the type of file, so you can see that this, for example, is a PDF. There are other settings which we can investigate, but for now we simply want to add it, so we now click Save and Return to Course, and our PDF has been added. And if we accidentally put it in the wrong section, we can simply use the Move icon to move it.